everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome to a what i eat in a day it's actually midday but all i've had is a piece of toast and butter was it butter yeah vegan butter so i've just cooked my lunch i'll insert some footage now quite unusual for me to have a meat substitute or to have quite so many meat substitutes over the past few days i've been having quite a lot of them because i went a bit crazy with on a vegan kind order recently so i've been making a lot of fake meats and one of my favorite things to do is to kind of mix them with vegetables to make sure that i'm not having too much processed foods even though obviously it is quite heavily processed this meal but hey we've got to treat ourselves now and again um, but yeah i fried them <laughs> also not so healthy but what can we do Fried them with a bit of onion, bit of sriracha, added some garlic mayo to my wrap, and voila. I made chi a chicken tikka wrap, vegan. Chi this is all vegan, I'm not gonna say vegan anymore. Chicken tikka wrap, I've got a cup of tea. I've got, my thing is having very many drinks at one meal. So I've got a cup of tea, I've got some kombucha, and my water. But apparently you're not supposed to drink whilst you're eating, like drink whilst you're sat down for a meal because it dilutes the digestive enzymes. I don't know if there's any truth to that, but I do know that when I was younger, my Italian grandma would always say, you can't have a drink until you've eaten your meal. <laughs> and I would want a drink. Let's do a little taste test. Mayonnaise spoon. This is what it looks like. Oh, let me show you one of the pieces actually. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty realistic. My mum tried one straight out of the packet. She's quite hard to impress. <laughs> she said, all right, maybe need some more garlic, but bear in mind that she is a garlic fiend. I'm so bad at wrapping up wraps. My brothers are amazing at it. I mean, probably just normal at it, but they, they do them so precisely. When I wrap up a wrap, it's just, it's always dribbling out the end, which is never what you want. Actually, this is a little bit stale, so I'm just going to rip off the top part because it's a bit crusty. Dribbling already. It's the lemon juice, gets me every time. But adding fresh lemon juice to your wraps will transform your life. Honestly, it just adds that extra zing. Okay, let's try this. In the afternoon, I decided I needed a pick-me-up, so I wanted to make a hot chockey. A nice hot chocolate and I mixed these two vegan milks together. One is a pea milk and one is an oat milk. Now Oatly is a classic, I'm using Oatly Barista and I'm also using Sprout Barista, that's the pea milk. And to be honest, the pea milk's also got, <laughs> pea milk sounds so weird, pea milk. Um, the pea milk has got oats in anyway, so it's nice and creamy and it tastes similar to oat milk, but um, yeah, this is me mixing in a little bit of cacao and also rediscovering all the functions of an iPhone. Hashtag shot on iPhone. I completely forgot about slow-mo, but for some reason, filming this video, I just went absolutely ham with the slow-mo. Like it's 2010 again, or whenever slow-mo came out. I feel like it was 2010. Anyway, I made a hot chocolate, used cacao, I used some um, maple syrup, and I topped off with some of these mallows. Also picked up from Vegan Kind Supermarket. I think you can get them in Holland and Barrett. And yeah, just topped off my hot chockey and it was a nice little afternoon pick-me-up. Again with the slow-mo, just can't stop. And then dinner was a little bit of a hodgepodge. My family were having vegetables with meat, so I said, okay, I'll have some of the vegetables. And then I just kind of heated up the veg in a pan with these heck sausages and some basil tofu. I love this tofu, 10 out of 10, but the, the heck sausages, I've tried this brand before and I'm not really a fan. They were a bit bland. So I added a bit of this zest vegan basil pesto. It was a bit of a throw everything in a pan and see how it turns out. And it tasted okay, it tasted all right. I added a little bit of liquid aminos to the pan as well, and then popped them in a dish and I ate it. And that was my dindins. I'm trying to get back into running. I haven't ran for ages. Run, ran. So I'm doing like stop and start running, same as you do when you're building up for couch to 5K. Running for four minutes, waiting for 30 seconds, which probably means I should get going. But look at this sunset. I actually completely forgot to do an outro to this video. Shoddy workmanship from my end of things. I'm really, really sorry. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see some more what I eat in a day, obviously like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I shall see you soon. Bye. Thank you.